everyone. Today I'm going to show you a card made with the new Light the Candles card kit. So I just received mine today in an order, which I'm really pleased about. Um, and the reason I decided to get this kit, because I have got quite a few already, was basically because they it's got a bit of dimension in it. They give you some adhesive strips, which is fab instead of the dimensionals. Love adhesive strips, really useful for dimension and especially for shaker cards. So um, I'm going to show you what was in the kit. So at the bottom of this piece of card, which has everything else on top of it, is this instruction leaflet, which is really important to find from underneath. You get, um, you get a stamping spot, you get an acrylic block, you get your adhesive strips, you get some uh, mini glue dots, you get the stamp set, you get some gold embellishments, you get... Um, some sentiment strips like that and some other strips some misty moonlight I think those are all night of navy and then you get these little light blue ones as well and then you get four cards like this and four cards which are I think this might be um, mango melody actually gorgeous bright color and then you get um, envelopes to match as well which are really nice so uh, look especially look at the linings in the envelopes I think that that they are absolutely fab, really good quality. And then obviously you get the pieces that you're going to um, stand up. So you get um, a cake slice, which that piece will go with that piece like that. And then you also get the row of candles where that piece will go like that. So I'm going to do the cake slice this time. Um, because I did the other row of candles on my face, my private Facebook group, which is called Fanny Stafford's Happy Stampers. So if you want to join that um, Facebook group, you're very welcome. Just ask to join it. It is by invitation only. Um, so we're going to concentrate on this card. So uh, what I need, it, amazingly in the instructions, it tells you exactly what you need. So I'm doing card number two. And these are the instructions for card number one. So then I just turn like this uh, to card number two. I've already got some ink on the instructions. So that just shows you how messy I am. So it tells you, you need your acrylic block with this stamp on. And then this stamp I've put on the other side ready to do the confetti. So that's ready to go. You need your ink spot. Well, I've decided to use my ink pad because I want to keep that ink spot brand new for something else says that you will need obviously uh, this piece and the piece that goes with it so let's just get those two pieces I'm going to put this one out of the way and one embellishment to go in the candle flame so the first thing it tells you to do is to stick this piece on your card and it says to use some of the little mini glue dots I'm just going to move that up so here they are and I'm just going to I'm going to put them on with my take your pick tool like this and it's amazing how such tiny mini glue dots can actually stick this piece of whoops I lost that one there it goes can stick um, this piece of card to the card base so I'm just going to take off the top with my fingernail I could have used the take your pick tool but I do have pretty good fingernails so I have confidence to use those and then the first thing it says is to stick that to the card base like that. Now you need to put the adhesive strips one across the top, one there, one there and then one there and one there. So if I just put that to one side, turn this over on my piece of cardboard that I've got, get my adhesive sheet and I'm going to start off first of all with the three large ones. So one piece is going to go along there, one piece is going to go up here like that and one piece is going to go here like that and then this piece I have to cut in half so you do need to have a pair of paper snips our paper snips well obviously you can have scissors but I do find our paper snips these paper snips have lasted me nearly 10 years I have got another pair I used for ribbon and I've got a third pair that I was given as a prize at a, a stamping up um, on stage events. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five pieces of adhesive strips. So what I should have done first, which I forgot when I did this video before but hadn't recorded it properly, is I should have actually stamped these spotty bits 
before I put my adhesive strips on. But do you know what? It worked before, so let's hope it's going to work now. That's okay. Let's see if this will work. Yep, so far so good. And then one more just down. I'll have to do it from that side. I think that's okay. Look a bit similar there, so I might put another one. Don't want to over gild the lily there. And I might just uh, go over gild the lily actually. <laughs> just put one more there. Great, okay, so that's done that bit. So now I can stick this down to my card. So I'm going to do that. One, two, and the backs come off really easy. Off easily, I should say. And then this is going to stick over here. So really fab cards. Whoops, just want that a little bit over. Because I want it to match up with that. There we go. That's that. I need a gem. And I will do the sentiment in a moment. I'll just, I'm doing, usually I put the gem on last, but I'm going to put that there. And then I just need to find the sentiment pieces. So hopefully they're not far away. Here we go. They're up here. So these are the sentiment pieces. So what I need for this one is the, that one for the background. And then I need this one for stamping the sentiment. So the sentiment I'm stamping on here is happy birthday to you. So I have got some extra sentiments in the stamp set. Uh, this is supposed to go onto here with some of the adhesive strip. Let's get my scissors and I just need a tiny bit, about a quarter, I think. So that'll go on like that. And that'll go onto here. This will have two glue dots on it. There's just two here. Stampin' Up are very generous with their kits. They do give you extra pieces, which is great. And just pick off the back of those two. And there we go. Happy birthday to you. So if you really want to get it right, you get your instructions in front of you. You could choose wherever you wanted it to go, but I think that'll be good enough. There we go. And there's the card all done and dusted. And the, the picture of the cake is sort of glittery anyway, as are the candles. So to be honest, you don't need a lot more embellishment than that. That's a really quick and easy card to do, and that would make a fabulous birthday card. So there you go. I really hope, hope that you've enjoyed that. So you get four of these cards. I love the way all the candle flames have an embellishment in them. Um, and then you get this one as well. So really great card to do. So I hope you get this kit. It's £18 and it comes in a lovely box that you could decorate and send with a present inside for somebody and decorate it with some designer series paper and ribbon and a label or anything. And you've got probably lots of adhesive strips to use spare for shaker cards and things like that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.